You know, they made two big pass plays on us in the second half. I mean, first of all, I thought we dropped an interception that had a legitimate chance to be a touchdown. And then they ran a wheel route um, out of a tight end wing combination that hit us. And then uh, they hit big number nine, just went up and made a play on us. Uh, really, I thought our kids played hard. I thought we fought hard. Um, they made some plays. I mean, they made some plays in the second half. Uh, we got the ball back a couple times in a position to maybe potentially go win it. Uh, we couldn't quite get it done. Uh, but again, you know, a hard fought game. Uh, give credit to Air Force, they made some plays. Uh, what did the switch do to Lamar win that particular uh, I just thought Cole, you know, looked a little slow on the quarterback draw. Uh, we ran a quarterback draw there on fourth down uh, or third down to play before the field goal. And we were talking about getting Lamar in the game the whole time. And, um, you know, we were just, you know, maybe hoping a little bit of magic there at the end, you know, and, but he deserved to play. There was no real big decision other than, you know, we probably thought about playing him earlier and didn't. Uh, there was a play that Jarrell had where he looked like he was going to get thrown for a loss. I yeah. Know, it was the third or fourth. fourth down. He almost scored him. Yeah, Jarrell, two fourth downs. You know, we went for it twice on fourth down. That time was on about our own 38-yard line, and, Honestly, he was the reason we converted by himself right there. Um, you know, and he made a play, and then we went for it that next time on fourth down when we pitched the ball and he was injured a little bit. He got knocked, you know, got knocked around a little bit. Um, it was a heck of a game. You know, that's three Air Force New Mexico games in a row that have come down to really the last series of the game. Um, so, uh, but, uh, you know, we, 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 we just can't finish. You know, we can't finish. Maybe we're just not good enough, and we just got to keep working and keep working, and maybe our time will come. Are you, are you surprised they went to the pass after you guys went? No, there? not really. I mean, that's always a part of it, you know. And you know, I watched little number two before the game. He's a heck of a player. He can throw it. Um, you know, and they throw the ball pretty well. I mean, they've got some big, tall receivers, and uh, they made some plays. They made some plays. Number nine went up and made a heck of a play. You know, he was well covered, and he went up and made a play. Yeah. You know, our defense fought. You know, we scored on a turnover. We had a couple big third down stops. I think we've made a little bit of progress there. You know, we're beat up. You know, we had some serious, serious injuries in this game. Uh, Cole Juarez went out early, the nose guard. Kimmy Carson went out with a knee. Um, Lehman, the tight end, went out with an ankle. Uh, Dakota broke his thumb. Uh, you know, we had some injuries, and we had a lot of guys have to gut it out and play. It would have felt, would have felt great. I mean, now. I, don't, I can't really enjoy it. That, that play doesn't really matter. I mean, yeah, it helps us stay in the ball game, put us, put us in the lead, but it doesn't matter at this point. I mean, we just want to win, so that's what we're trying to do. You guys seem like you, you had a lot of success stopping the run in the second half, but then it got away from you with the two big pass plays. Yeah, I mean, we just got to read our keys. If we read our keys, then we're fine. I mean, it's, it's, it's option football. It's, everyone has to do their job, and when somebody doesn't do their job, then it, get, it gets exploited like that. I mean, it, it kind of sucks. It's kind of like how the dive was happening in the first half. I mean. If you just do your job, we'll be fine, but everyone just has to do their job. They can't do too much. Uh, the clock's ticking for you and Bowers and, and a couple other guys. Uh, how much uh, does this hurt, but how much encouragement is it to know you got five games left? I mean, it does hurt. I mean, I, I'm not really worried about the five games left. No offense to you, sir, but I'm just trying to worry about that next one, this win. This bye week is huge for us. We're, I mean, we're, right now this one still hurts, just losing to Air Force, but this bye week's big. I mean, you saw, everyone saw Dakota go down with his, his uh, thumb got dislocated, and all the injuries that we just had just totally happened right out there. And before this week, we just need to get healthy and like, just keep looking, go week by week. I mean, that's all we're trying to do. Uh, on the sidelines, how exciting was it to see the, the, the run game, the triple option? get going again what, what Jarrell did today it is it's always exciting to see Jarrell run I mean we've all seen him run for the last three years that he's been here so I mean every time Jarrell has something that has the ball in his hands I mean he's probably gonna do something special with it so it, it's real fun to see but I mean still we, we still got to do our part on defense like we can't always worry about the offense we we got to make sure at the end of the day they have less points than we do uh, the locker room belongs to you guys but just in a nutshell uh, what was said in there what was what's going take his message to you uh, we just all got to do our job, and that's about it. We just all got to do our job. Jarrell, just kind of what I said to David, you had, a, you had a great game. How much better would it feel with the victory you came so close? I feel a lot better. I mean, I felt like we came short. I mean, I didn't get the job done and I get the victory. Uh, you, you, had the, you had the long runs, but you and Terry on both got some tough yardage when you guys really needed it. Uh, how much pride do you, 
you're not you're not a terribly big guy. You're not a really small guy either. But how much pride do you take in being able to get the tough yards? I mean, when I get up the hole, I'm, I want somebody to feel me. So I take a lot of pride in that. When I'm coming in there, I'm coming in there to hit you. Uh, what do you feel got the ground game going again after last week? Uh, I had a chip on my shoulder because uh, we didn't do as good as we should have did last week. So this, year, this week we had to make a statement. Like, we still can run the ball. Do uh, you feel like you can run the ball against anybody on the schedule? We can run the ball against anybody, no matter who it is. They could be the number one team in the nation. It doesn't matter. Uh, five games left. How important is the bye week, first of all? It's good. We got a, a lot of guys that's banged up. We get them healthy, come back, and we got a, uh, we got a chip on the shoulder. We need these games. Uh, it's a game of inches. You you had a play where you almost got thrown for a loss. I don't. I guess it was fourth down. I can't remember. Yeah. You got away for an 18-yard run, and you were on the tight rope and, and couldn't quite stay in bounds. I mean, in a game this close, I mean, just how frustrating is that? It's real frustrating because I know we needed that to win. If uh, if I could have stayed in bounds or made a bigger play or a touchdown. I know we could have won this game. Uh, locker room's kind of private, but just in a nutshell, what was Coach Davies' message to you guys after the game? Locker room's private. Gotcha. Thanks. Thanks.